Mr. Speaker, I rise at this house today to honor the people of the Republic of Azerbaijan as they have just celebrated their Republic Day on May 28. Republic Day commemorates the day Azerbaijan first declared its independence from the Russian Empire in 1918, becoming the first ever Muslim Democratic Republic. The Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, crushed by the Soviet forces in 1920, in its two short years of independence, Azerbaijan made great strides in state building, education and economic growth. The Republic was even ahead of many Western countries in granting the right to vote for women in 1918. Azerbaijan's second opportunity for freedom and independence began in 1991 after the collapse of the USSR. Modern Azerbaijan is a secular democratic republic. In recent years, Azerbaijan has reached a remarkable progress in improving its legislature, boosting economy, and reducing poverty. The achievements of Azerbaijan were acknowledged by World Bank and the World Economic Forum. Azerbaijan is promoting trans-regional projects, first of all, in oil and gas, delivering oil and gas from Caspian Sea to global market via a network of pipelines. Mr. Speaker, I would ask my colleagues to join me to congratulate the people of Azerbaijan on the 92nd anniversary of the Republic Day and to renew our commitment to further develop and strengthen the bond between our two people. Thank you. Yashasen Azerbaijan Jumuriyatu. Today, May 29, 2010, we are celebrating 92 years since the establishment of the first Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. Many things have changed within the past 92 years. Azerbaijan was able to gain its second independence for almost 18 years. But the question still remains, are we following the legacy and the principles of the founding fathers? Are we still loyal to the ideas preached by them? Our guest, Aslan Amani, thinks we could do better. According to him, although Azerbaijan is independent and developing rapidly, there are ideological differences between the current government in power and the founding fathers. Well, although uh, over the past years there have been a lot of uh, a lot of new mon monuments have been set in the capital Baku and all across the country. No monument has been set in the memory of uh, Mohammed Amir Rasulzadeh or any other uh, founders of the Republic. And the, let alone building, erecting new monuments, existing monuments have been destroyed or uh, they have been negligently treated. And even the name of Rasulzadeh was removed from the Baku State University, uh, the university that he had. Uh, help come into, into life in 1919. Our other guest, Middle Eastern historian Musamaddin Mamadov, also thinks Azerbaijanis have not done enough to preserve and to promote the legacy of founding fathers. This is the first time that the yani onun dünya görüşünü formalaştıran Müsavat Partiyası'nın e, program prinsipleri I think the ideology and the principles of the Musavat party which shaped the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic have not been communicated in adequate level. Azerbaijan Democratic Republic did not have sufficient time to promote those ideologies and the principles. Soviets banned even to mention about the Musavat and the governments after the independence were not successful either. There is an existing functional Musavat party right now in Azerbaijan which has claimed to follow the principles of old Musavat and promote the same ideology. 
But unfortunately, I do not think the current Musavat party has been very successful in promoting the old Musavat and educating the general public about it. Instead, the existing Musavat is participating in contemporary politics in Azerbaijan. They are more concerned about the current elections, just like an ordinary bureaucratic political establishment. In fact, I believe in heart all Azerbaijanis are the are the potential followers of Musabat. The ideology preached by the founding fathers was not new to Azerbaijan. Musabat managed to build its principles based on existing values of Azerbaijani nation, such as fairness, justice, equality, and the rule of law. It was able to adapt the concept of justice to Azerbaijani realities and conditions. Yani bu beraberliği anlayışı ve bütün bütün insan hüquqlarının bütün cihazları üzerinde. Mesela kadınlara ses verme hüququ, yani kadınlar ve kişilerin hüquqların beraber tutulması, kanunun aliliği meselesi. Bu Azerbaycanlıların tarih boyunca cihazların çektiği bir şey. Nasıl biz deyelim de adalet bir şey. Ancak bu adaleti Musabat Partiyası bizim için onu yeni bir formadır. Kanunun aliliği. Azerbaijanis almost 100 years ago 
today has mostly come true. Azerbaijan is an independent republic and a member of the United Nations, which Azerbaijanis greatly owe to those wise men who stood up for the nation. The man who engaged in multiple wars, suffered under the Soviet rule, and lived in exile with the dream that the shining lights of freedom will rise up like a sunrise from the horizon and enlighten our motherland. This is the end of our program dedicated to the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic of 1918. We truly hope you enjoyed the program and would like to thank you for the time you dedicated to listen to us.